Okay, it's Dr. L again. We're going to talk about doing a paired t-test in um, Google Sheets, and we're using this to analyze a tetrahymena lab data set on phagocytosis, looking at India ink-filled vacuoles. We're focusing in on the question of whether 1% ink or 10% ink made a difference in the total number of vacuoles counted during the experiment. And so I have copied and pasted just the two relevant data sets here so that we can focus on that without having other extraneous information and just look at the difference between 1% and 10% ink. So now before we get going with this, we're going to, let me just give you a little bit of background, okay? Um, because what we need to uh, consider is that when you're using a statistical test, there will be statistical hypotheses and these are about the math or the statistics of the test so in this case there's a statistical hypothesis something called the null hypothesis or h naught and it's that there is no difference between the means of the data sets we are comparing in other words they are the same Okay, and if they're the same, then there's really no impact or likely no impact due to the ink concentration, right? There's an alternative to that, the HA, alternative statistical hypothesis, and, th and that is that there is a difference between the means of the data sets we are comparing they are different. So if indeed there is an impact due to ink, then you would expect the mean number of vacuoles counted in 1% ink to be different than the mean of the number of vacuoles counted in 10% ink. They wouldn't be the same. Okay. So we're going to do a statistical test called a paired t-test in order to assess this. And we're not even going to do that test. We're going to tell Google Sheets to do the test. We're going to use what is called a paired t-test. Paired t-tests are useful where data is linked by some sort of common element that could affect the data. So here it's related by both the researchers. So Hannah collected this data set and Hannah collected this data set. And then Sarah Margaret collected this one and Sarah Margaret also collected this one. Furthermore, these were the same it was the same population of organisms that, that was sampled and that was analyzed at, one, at 10 minutes in 1% and in 10 minutes in 10% um, ink. So that makes it appropriate to do a paired t-test. There are other options. We won't get into that here. Okay, so we're going to determine the probability associated with um, the, the probability of observing the results that we're seeing here if the null hypothesis is true. Like what's the chance that we would see this if indeed there was no difference between the means of the data set? Okay, what's that probability? And the comparison that we're going to use is 5% or 0 0.05. Anything smaller than that would cause us to reject this null hypothesis which would mean that it's more likely that there's an alternative, okay? Anything bigger than 5% or 0.05 would mean that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. In other words, we're saying that the means are the same. It's kind of statistical speak. So let's just do the t-test and get that probability. So we're going to use the equal sign, which tells the program that we're about to ask it to do a calculation. And I'm going to look for t-test by typing t in t-test there and it'll auto provide me with that click right and then I'm going to select the data arrays that are relevant so I'm going to select all of this comma and then I'm going to select the other data array comma and then I'm going to tell it the number two because we don't know whether um, we don't know if there's a difference like in what direction the difference would be, like would it be that the mean would be greater in 1% ink and less in 10% ink or the other way around. So it's when you don't know 
you just say you're looking for a difference and that's a two-tailed test. And then as I explained before, we're doing a paired t-test. That's option one here. And then I'm going to do closing bracket, enter. And there's my number. And the number's showing um, as way smaller than 0 0.05. So because p is greater than 0 0.05, which is 5%, a probability, we say the probability, or no, we say that we will reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference between the means. In other words, the means are different. So then when we go back and we look at that graph, right? And we compare 1% ink at 10 minutes and 10% ink at 10 minutes, the red and the green. We actually have a statistical number to back up our statement that this is different than this. And I can tell which one is greater by looking at my nice bar graph. So I can say that there was more phagocytosis and therefore more India ink vacuoles in the 1% India ink environment at 10 minutes than in the 10% India ink at 10 minutes. So giving them more ink to eat or phagocytose did not actually make them do, do more phagocytosis. So that's a simple test, just comparing these two data sets. Let me point out to you that you can also do the same thing and look at time. So you could look at these other pairs, 1% ink at 0 minutes, 1% ink at 10 minutes. You could compare these in the same way. And you could compare these in the same way. So you can do a lot of different things with t-tests.